My goal is to become a world champion one day. He is very aggressive, explosive, very fast. They always have an urgency to get the job done as quickly as possible. Hawaii is an often overlooked state when it comes to the MMA scene in the United States. It's the origin for many greats throughout the history of mixed martial arts. Hawaiian beasts like Travis Brown, Brad Tavares, and Max Blessed Holloway immediately come to mind. Of course, you can't talk about Hawaiian fighters without mentioning BJ the Prodigy Pin. This year, Hawaii's next potential superstar debuted for one fighting championship, and she shares a namesake with BJ Penn himself. Victoria, the prodigy Lee, has fought three times this year with three fantastic finishes all over a six-month span. The 17-year-old sensation has made her goal loud and clear, become the world's youngest MMA champion. My goal is to become a world champion one day, whenever that may be. In this video, we're going to go over five reasons why Victoria Lee is the next big thing in MMA. Number five, greatness runs in the family. One could say that it's in her DNA. She's the younger sister of fellow MMA fighters Angela and Christian Lee, who also fight for one. The bar was already set high for young Victoria as her siblings already staked their claims in the MMA history books with the exact goal she's after. In 2016, her sister Angela Lee captured one's inaugural women's atomweight world title by defeating Mei Yamaguchi. At the tender age of 19, she was the youngest female world champion at the time. Not to be outdone by his sister, Christian Lee claimed a belt of his own when he won lightweight gold against Japanese legend Shinya Aoki in 2019. It's safe to say the Lee family from Waipahu, Hawaii have a knack for developing world-class warriors. Expectations were through the roof when Victoria, the youngest of the Lee tribe, signed with one at the end of 2020. She was only 16 years old at the time, but that didn't stop one's chairman and CEO, Chautri Sityotong, from calling her arguably the single greatest pound-for-pound -pound female prospect in the world today. Number four, her accolades in combat sports are insane. That might seem like a lot of pressure for a teenager, but Victoria has risen to the challenge. Her pedigree justified such high praise as she was a two-time Pancration Junior World Champ in 2019 and 2020, as well as an IMMAF Wrestling Junior World Champ in the same years. If that wasn't impressive enough, she's also a 15-time Naga Expert Champ. Her grappling skills are almost immeasurable for a person of her age, though it's less surprising when you realize that she trains with Bruno Pucci Bull Pucci, a two-time BJJ Nogi Champ who also happens to be her brother-in-law. Victoria is currently a purple belt in BJJ, but it's safe to assume she won't stay there for long. Before even making her professional debut, Victoria owned a submission victory in the amateur circuit. She caught her opponent, Ilario Leto, in a rear naked choke at the WMMAA Youth MMA World Championships in 2019 in the very first round. Number three, she's already dominating her pro fights. She followed that Youth MMA World Championship performance up with her professional debut, where she choked out Sunisa Shreesen with another rear naked choke in the second round. In her second pro fight, Victoria decided she got bored of choking people out and decided to mix things up a bit. She caught Wang Lu Ping in a triangle armbar in the very first round, just over three minutes into the fight. She wasted no time getting back into action, jumping on the opportunity to fight on the same card as her older brother Christian only two months later. Apparently, Victoria took exception to being considered a pure grappler, so she got herself a beautiful TKO victory against Victoria Souza in her third pro fight. Things didn't work out for her brother though, who lost the belt against Ok Rae Yoon via decision. Number two, she's not your average teenager. It's been an incredible showing for the 17-year-old who managed to balance being a high school student and a professional MMA fighter. But it wasn't that surprising for her siblings who knew that Victoria has all the makings of a champion. When Victoria signed her contract with one, her sister Angela boldly declared that Victoria is better than she was at that age. The humble Victoria had trouble accepting such high praise, but seems destined to follow in her sister's footsteps in becoming the youngest female world champion. Before her debut, Victoria and big sister Angela opened up on the experience of signing with one at such a young age in an exclusive interview with one's Michael Chavello. 
Victoria showed her poise and what makes her different from your average teenager who are usually more preoccupied with the happenings of TikTok and Instagram to be bothered with something like becoming a world champion. When asked about what it was like to sign with such a large MMA organization at only 16, Victoria stated, it's something I've wanted for so long and it all just happened so fast. It's crazy. At the time, both her siblings were champions in one, being the first sibling pair to simultaneously hold belts in MMA history. When asked about what it was like to follow in her family's footsteps, Victoria said, it's so awesome that now I'm a part of this journey with them. Victoria, are you happy with the first round finish and how do you feel? I feel amazing. I want to eat a Krispy Kreme donut right now. <laughs> they say it takes a village and Victoria's success in the cage is a testament to how supportive her family has been. It's unusual to have your older sister be one of your principal training partners, but Angela had no problem heaping praise on her younger sibling. In the same interview, Angela told Chevello, she's so talented, she's wise beyond her years. Ever since she was little, we called her an old soul. She's very mature for her age, and that's why I think she's well-equipped to handle all that comes with this fame and this path that she's chosen, especially with the help of the family. Number one, her parents have already forged greatness. If your goal is to become a world champion in MMA, it helps to be born into the Lee family. Their gym, United MMA, is operated by Victoria's parents, Ken and Jules. The couple are lifetime martial artists who have passed on their skills and dedication to all of their children and their students. Starting off in Taekwondo, Victoria's father Ken decided to do cross training to improve his grappling base and extend his knowledge to a larger audience. He and his wife Jules opened their first gym back in 1996 in Canada, which eventually led Ken into an administrative position with the Canadian Pancration Federation in 2002. Of course, Canada's weather leaves a lot to be desired. The couple moved to Hawaii in 2003, where Ken focused on teaching classes to his family. Interest reached the public, and eventually he found himself with a large student base. It's unsurprising given the culture of Hawaii, one of the richest states for combat sports. In Hawaii, it's a little bit different. The culture of martial arts training is everywhere. As soon as they can walk, they're in judo class or wrestling. They're real big on boxing and kickboxing, so it's everywhere. You can learn from aunties and uncles in the backyard. With all those factors in play, it was only a matter of time before the Lee family tasted combat sports gold. It first came to fruition in 2012, where Angela won gold in two divisions at the World Pangration Athlema Federation Championships. That following year, they officially opened United MMA, where they've been churning out champions ever since. It was actually Ken who reached out to an old friend and Matt Hume to see if there was an opportunity for his kids to showcase their talents on a global stage. Hume was the senior vice president of operations for one at the time and knew Ken's dedication to fighting was passed down to his children. The rest is history. Both Angela and Christian would go on to become world champions. The only question now is, how long until Victoria reaches that height? The stage is set for her to one up her siblings in every imaginable way. Most fighters don't debut until their mid twenties. So the prospect of having a 17 year old world champion is almost unfathomable. If she's that good at 17, how good will she be at 20 or 25? Only time will tell. Victoria the Prodigy Lee is one of the most exciting fighters to enter the MMA world this year, and the trajectory of her career can only go skyward. She continues the legacy of not only her family, but also the rich MMA history from the state of Hawaii. It couldn't be more fitting that she shares her nickname with perhaps the greatest Hawaiian mixed martial artist in BJ Penn. Perhaps at some point in the future, Victoria may find herself signing a new contract with a new organization in the UFC. So, what do you guys think of Victoria? Are you buying into the hype? Is the Lee family the greatest MMA family in history? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for future MMA content. Until next time.